Coach, uh, had to fight through a little rain, but you were able to get it in this morning. Well, you know, a little soggy, you know, but uh, we got it in. Just uh, didn't want to wait this afternoon because of the chance of lightning and stuff. So was able to get the full practice in. Didn't rain too hard uh, on the game field again today. So we got good work in. A lot of times when it's raining, you're sloppy, messy, nobody stand up. But I thought we got really good work in. You never know when you go out to play in a game like this. So we played in a few like that. So I think it kind of prepares you, kind of handling a a wet ball and you know catching a wet ball and those things and just really keeping your feet underneath you you know when it's a little slick so we know you're on turf and turf slick when it's wet so i think it's a good day for us uh you know re really cool you know so the, the weather was uh actually a pretty pretty good day for practice but you know thought we got better you know i, I thought it was even a better practice than what yesterday was so we're just progressing fundamentally and you know getting better i see a lot of improvement all over the, both sides of the ball and even the kicking game um Continuing with our defensive position breakdowns, uh, talk about that nickel position, really a versatile spot in your defense. Well, that guy kind of triggers a lot of what we do defensively, you know, and uh, has some big, you know, roles on, you know, uh, their responsibilities and kind of, you know, what they do. We got a returning starter there in Saran Neal. He play, played, uh, you know, the whole year there for us last year. And he, he's had a great fall camp, great off season, good leader on our team. So, you know, we're looking for big things, you know, from, from him on, on our defense. And he's a versatile player, can play in a lot of different spots. So he's a guy that's played safety before. So we feel like he can play anywhere. And so it's good to have a guy like that back and then you got uh you know two other guys that will play a lot of snaps there as well and, and Hagler and Wofford that uh you know that's kind of battling there just to see uh you know who, who, who's gonna you know take more snaps than another one both of them play significant snaps so we feel like it's a position we got a lot of depth at and uh you got some really smart football players there so like I said and that's a good thing because that is a pivotal spot in our defense. And so the last couple of years that position is just made a lot of plays with Saran last year and Brandon Bender before that. Is is it kind of like a combination between a linebacker and a DB there? It is. You know, he, he's kind of like a safety and, uh, you know, he's like a linebacker as well because he fits the box and has to be able to play in the box. And, you know, he's put one on, in one-on-one -on -one tackling situations a lot of the time. And then uh, he's on, in a one-on-one -on -one cover situation. He has to have corner type skills. So it takes a, a player with a a different skill set, uh, a multi-talented skill set to be able to play there because we ask a lot out of that position. Now, a lot of people, uh, you know, they sub that guy out to get that guy in different packages. Uh, you know, we're, we're multiple defensively, but we don't have to change our personnel, you know, with that guy because we, we, we work hard to develop that guy and, and uh, not be able to, having to come off the field. So, you know, we feel good about, you know, that position being able to stay in, in the game no matter what the down and distance or the situation is in the game.